all of these things can also help to reduce certain kind of inflammation in your body and that's why i'm always introduce you guys to use pineapple peel when you're at home don't throw your pineapple peel always use it for certain kind of reason at home all right now i'm gonna be making a cup of tea this morning i just share a few information in the chat section where you guys um, can read upon it um, there's a lot more research you can do for yourself by um do your research on pineapple and green tea ginger and also a lot more stuff all right now this morning as i said i'm just gonna make a simple cup of tea from it but it's also a very good source of helping with to reduce inflammation and also probably giant pain in your body all right you just have to um try it guys you know what i mean it's good to try um different things which can also help you at home now i may make a lot of drink tea a lot of healthy tea recipes but at the end of the day they have some pharmacy of health benefit and that's why i'm always making healthy tea healthy juice for you guys to try at home to help you with certain kind of information in your body all right so this morning we're going to be showing you exactly what you can do and make this beautiful pineapple and green tea with some ginger this morning all right um bunty good morning thank you so much for coming on the show we appreciate it and leslie help thank you so much yeah so we're gonna show you exactly how to make this beautiful um you're welcome, Bunty. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. Very early, but we're going to crack it on right now because lovely. Um, Sharon Bentley, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Please share the video. Please tell a friend and a friend to a friend. Now, guys, I'm gonna, I want you guys to um, um, grab yourself a piece of paper and a, pe and a pen and you know i mean write down the ingredients because these ingredients will be on my website chefrecorder.co.uk that's where i always try my best to post some of my ingredients on my website which i know they will be for life because that website is not going nowhere all right so dana thank you so much so please grab yourself a pen and a piece of a paper and let's write down these ingredients all right now i'm gonna jump straight into it and i'm gonna be showing you exactly how to make this beautiful cup of tea this morning Process it up very quickly and get it crack on. But I want you guys to grab yourself a piece of pen and a piece of paper and to write down the ingredients. Please write down the ingredients. Fox and Fox, good morning. Nice to see you this morning. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you coming on the show. Appreciate it. Grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper. Please share the video. We are waiting for a few more people to come on the live. And then we start the show. Grab yourself a pen and paper. And write down the recipe. And use it at home. Alright. If you have your cell phone. Use the cell phone and write it down in the meantime. You know what I mean? Whatever you have at home. Grab yourself a piece of pen and a piece of paper. Write down the ingredients. Vanessa, thank you so much. Han, thank you so much. I big up my TikTok and my Facebook audience. Thank you so much, guys. Get yourself pen and paper and write down the ingredients. All right? Pen and paper and write down the ingredients. Fox 
Francis Wolf, thank you so much. Palm tree. John McDonald. Canada. Nova Scotia, Canada. Thank you so much. Fox and Fox. <laughs> yeah, I know. Lord Moria, thank you so much. Good morning, Depp. Thank you so much. Um, grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper and write down the ingredients. All right, guys. Now, I'm going to start it to show you exactly what you guys are going to need to do at home. And then what you want to do with this recipe is you want to drink it every day for at least one month straight. All right. Two times a day will be really good if you can drink it two times a day. Um, secondly, you can also make a bash of it and you cool it down and drink it cold or if you want to drink it hot, it's up to you. But I'm going to make a hot cup of tea from it. All right. But this is what you're going to need to do. Okay. Now. I'm using some pineapple peel. This is some leftover pineapple peel. Now you can use fresh pineapple if you like. By go to the supermarket, buy yourself a pineapple, slice it up, and use it. But I'm gonna be using some fresh pineapple peel right here, organic. Craig, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. All right. So what we're gonna do? All right. is first thing i'm gonna show you exactly so you need one cinnamon stick it's good if you can get organic cinnamon stick it's much gonna be better write down the ingredients all right cinnamon stick break up a cinnamon stick into the pot like this all right now i got some green tea bag I got some green tea bag. All right, here's a green tea bag. All right, this is a green tea. I'm using some green tea and I'm gonna put one green tea. So I'm gonna make a large portion. So what I'm gonna do, I may use two green tea bags because I'm gonna make a large portion. So it's gonna be a little bit stronger. All right, so I'm gonna use two of these green tea bags. Write down the ingredients. Write down the ingredients. All right, so one cinnamon stick and two green tea bag. All right, here it is. Now I got my stove a little bit warm at the moment. All right, lovely. Now what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna get some pineapple peel. You can use fresh pineapple, but the pineapple peel is much more better. Because there's a lot of health benefit in the pineapple peel. That's the pineapple peel. I'm using roughly about four slices of my pineapple peel. Please write on the ingredients, guys. All right. So right there, we got the pineapple, green tea bag, and some cinnamon stick into the water, into the pot at the moment, not the water yet. All right. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a nice lovely piece of a ginger. This is the ginger. Yes, I washed my pineapple first with um I did wash this pineapple off. These are pineapple which I did have in my freezer, which I washed off into some baking soda, and I have them in my freezer. 
All right, but if you want to use the fresh pineapple, you can use the fresh pineapple. Great enough. Yeah. Right here, I got the ginger. I'm gonna just grate a little piece more ginger. If I grate the ginger, you get more flavor. So the, the pineapple peel, I did wash the pineapple peel with some baking soda. And this is a pineapple peel which I save in my freezer when I use pineapple all the time. So when I buy my pineapple today, I will show you exactly what I do with my pineapple peel. right here all right we got all right guys let's let's name up about the ingredients again we got pineapple as i said to you you need to write down the ingredients we got pineapple we got organic ginger all right we got some cinnamon so if you can get the organic cinnamon that would be really good we got some green tea all right i'm using some organic green tea which i brought from the L shop all right guys so here it is so what you want to this is what i normally do first and normally give it a little bit of stir in the pot first like this before i put any liquid in the pot if you notice what i'm doing on a medium size eat give it a little bit of stir in the pot now everything i'm using right here so it is organic all right so when you go to the supermarket or sometimes guys you can look at the stuff what they have in the supermarket you may write organic stuff but you don't see it so you read your information which is on the label say if it is organic because i'm using organic ginger organic pineapple organic cinnamon and organic organic green tea bag all right so i'll just give it a little bit of stir in the pot like this As you can see, all right, look at that. That's the way it look at the moment. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed up the process a little bit, but what I'm gonna do, to be honest with you guys, this is option. The cloves is option. You don't have to put cloves in it. It's option, but I have cloves and I know cloves do have a lot of health benefits. So I'm going to put a few cloves in it. You don't have to, but if you have it, it is very good to put a few inside of it also. So what you want to do, you want to burn off some of the flavor from all of those ingredients in the pot. Not to burn it like it's going to burn like just to just rub it in the pot for a few minutes and burn out the pineapple the reason why i did it like this a lot of people doesn't know if you do pineapple like this the flavor we get from it and the taste on the texture is totally a million percent different from when you just chuck it into the water all right now i'm gonna speed up the process a little bit more quicker by simple using some hot water from my kettle i just boiled my kettle so i'm using a large cup all right all right here it is now if you want to use some fresh pineapple if you only have fresh pineapple feel free to go and use the fresh pineapple but i always have pineapple peel in my fridge because when i use pineapple i do not throw away the skin the skin of the pineapple has got a lot of health benefit all right guys then after this i'm gonna give you one more recipes which you guys can also do at home on a regular basic 
But before I go any further, let's get the light up to 50. Get the light up to 50, guys. Now, this is a very, very good source for you to help you to reduce certain kind of information in your body. Remember, this is not going to happen overnight. If you are suffering from certain kind of pain or back pain, whatever kind of pain, it's not going to happen overnight. Now, this will help to reduce certain kind of information in your body, which is so amazing. And not only that, it's vitamin B also. And also, I share some of the information in the, in the, in the chat section where you guys can, can, can read upon it. All right. Now, um, if you guys see some of the information which I, I pin in the comments, which I was reading some article and some, um, some benefit on social media about pineapple, green tea, and ginger, and all of these things. So I decided to share it. Guys, before we go any further, let's get the like up to 50. All right, here it is. Nice one. So remember, we use tea bag, green, um, green tea bag. We use pineapple and we use cinnamon and we use some cloves and we use some ginger inside of it. All right. And this is looking fantastic. All right. Lovely. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn off the cooker. All right. Let's turn off the cooker right now. So we're going to wrap this. I'll leave it for it to sleep for a few minutes in the liquid. All right. All right. You, you don't have to do it the way Chef Ricard have been doing it, but my lid doesn't fit this part, so that's why I'm doing it. If you have a pack where the lid fits, it's pretty good for you, all right? So what you want to do, you want to drink this. You want to drink this every morning for at least one month just to see how it acts on your body. I'm telling you. You just have to shut your eye and do these things, guys, and say to yourself, you know what happened? I'm going to have to try something. You know? You can't go wrong if you try something, guys. All right? Thank you so much on my Facebook for the stars. We got my um, TikTok audience. Really appreciate you guys over there. All right? Rosie, thank you so much. All right? Lovely. So... Right over here, I'm gonna get my cup right there. So we're just gonna leave it for it to sleep in it for a few minutes. Get my strainer. Right, that looking good. Now we got 45. I got another another recipe which I want to share with you guys. Let's get the knife up to 50, guys. Okay, because I have another recipe for if you got like breath problem, teeth problem. You know what I mean? Sore throat problem. Prepare your body for winter. Enough people is taking this thing too, too lightly. I want you guys to take this thing serious. When it come winter, you will be catching cold and flu if you don't boots up your body from now. All right? Now, I got another recipe which I'm going to just give you a little sheer, a little bit of highlight and a little bit of tips on it. That's you guys can try this and get your body ready for winter. All right? That mean when winter come, you're not going to find yourself in a sore throat or in a cold or in a flu. All these kind of tea with Chef Ricardo been making morning and night and evening. They will help you in some form of, some form of way. Some form of way, it will help to reduce 
certain kind of information in your body. Honestly, guys. All right. So just give it a try. Give it a go and see if it worked the best for you. Now, as you can see, this is the tea. I make it sleep for a few minutes. So it was because of the eat. All right. That's looking good. Lovely and nice. Look at that. All right. That is fantastic. All right. That's looking really good, guys. Honestly, look at the color. No matter what you put pineapple into, it always have that pineapple look. Anything you put pineapple into, it's going to have the pineapple look. Yeah, that looking excellent. All right. So we'll leave it for sleep for a few more minutes. And then in the meantime, let's spin the camera around. Let's the guys can see what I've been doing over this side. Right there. And right there. All right. Let's spin the camera around. All right. Yeah, lovely. All right, now, okie dokie. So, once you leave it in it for sleep for a few minutes, guys, at home, all right? And not only that, the beautiful thing I, I like about this drink, yeah? It's the beautiful thing I like is all natural. Let's pour out this, guys. That is amazing. And I'm going to simply say to you, I, did, I just don't make these things overnight. These are stuff where I sit down and I do my own research. Like hours, pan top of hours. So when you're probably sleeping, I'm doing my research. All right. That's the tea right there. All right, guys. That is the tea right there. Now, what you can also do, you know I mean? Just get a few of the pineapple peel and put it back into the liquid like this you know yeah now when you wash your pineapple it is good for you to um use baking soda and wash your pineapple if it's not organic and if it's still organic it's good to still wash it all right um i may just put a few more of the cloves into the water like this lovely all right, that's part one. All right, let's go into part two now. I'm going to show you part two for the next video. So the next video, which I'm going to be simply show you what you need to do at home, is going to be this one. All right. So this one, which I'm going to make for you, is one which you can, like, if you're at home and you feel like sometimes you have something in your, in your mouth, like a sore or something or... You might eat something and it, and it cuts you in your mouth and you have a sore or something. This is a remedy which you want to try at home. All right. Now, you might have certain kind of a breath and you wonder where this breath come from. You may find a tongue a little bit, you know what I mean? When you, if you don't spend time and brush your tongue the right and proper way, you still have that, you know what I mean? That kind of look which you are trying to avoid. All right. Now, this is a remedy for you. You may find yourself of two take one day. This is a remedy for you. All right. Um, can I please? For lungs, bay leaf is very good for lungs. So if you have some dry bay leaf or if you can get some fresh bay leaf, get some bay leaf and drink it for 30 days. All right. Pine, um, so if you are suffering from lungs problem, bay leaf is a very good resource for that one. Drink bay leaf. And it will can help you in some pharmacy away. Um, Sharon Bentley. Well, if you um, especially if you if you are in the Caribbean, or if you are in the Caribbean like Jamaica, you know what I mean you know that those stuff is organic. You know what I mean they grow up. But if you are in the UK or in Canada overseas, they will write on it just like. Where's my, um, let's see if I can find this one to show you. All right. Yeah, so uh, I'll show you an idea. You see this sign? All right. 
this sign right here it told you so anytime you go to the supermarket you look you say this one it said organic so that's why i know i'm always looking at the labels you know what i mean it will say organic so this one it said organic beetroot so you always you just have to just look at the label and they will tell you keep in refrigerator wash before you use all right all these things so yeah so the, all you have to do is just look on the label. So I'm always looking at label. Because sometimes you go in the supermarket, they got organic stuff in you know, them, but you don't see them. But they, they're there. You know what I mean? And when you buy it, you say, oh my gosh, this was organic. I can't believe. Yeah. So I'm always looking for stuff in the supermarket for organic. Just look at the tick, the, 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 you know what I mean? Because this, that, this supermarket is a local supermarket. And when I say to people, they sometimes they got organic stuff in there. They were like, what? Yeah. And they, it's off to be organic because these are big top supermarkets. So it must have to be. They couldn't just write organic on it like this. You know what I mean? Just because they want to sell their product. But sometimes you go in the supermarket, just look on the label. Um, if you're in Jamaica or in the Caribbean, you know, stuff is coming from the bush is organic. Because they're not putting some type of spray and chemical to preserve it and all them sort of stuff there. So it's organic. All right. Now, secondly, the second thing I want to share with you is this video. All right. And this is a very good one for you guys. All right. This one will be for a lot of people who probably made us suffer from toothache, something you never know, sore throat and all these things. Now, cloves, I've been talking about cloves over the last probably about two to three years. Now, three years. All right. Now, what you want to do, grab yourself a teaspoon of cloves and put it straight inside of your cup. I'm using organic cloves right here. All right. Into the cup like this, into a cup. All right. And then... Get some hot water and pour on it like this. Now, I've been talking about these things for so long, guys. But uh, the more I use clothes, is the more I'm learning. It's just like a driver. You've been a driver for 50 years. But every day you drive, you still learn. All right? Now, what you want to do, cover this and leave this for at least six to seven hours. And make the, water, make the clothes soak into the water and drink this. Or you don't have to drink it. You can just use it and wash out your mouth two times a day. All right. This right here, wash your mouth two times a day. Now, you might find yourself have some breath problem for a long time. And you want to get rid of it. You may have your mouth have some sore, something. You may cut your gum. You may do a lot of stuff. And this is much more natural and thing. So use this. And also you can drink the liquid if you like to drink the liquid because cloves help to fight against a lot of stuff from in your immune system. All right. But anyway, guys, I want to say thank you so much. One more time. Any question, you know what to do. Get in touch with Chef Ricardo and I will try my best to give you some tips and ideas. How much cloves you only need about six to seven cloves. Now, you, you can use six to seven cloves, but the reason why I use like so many cloves it's just like an antibiotic, all right? If you go to your doctor and your doctor give you a medication and it didn't work, I'm going to say to you, I have to give you a stronger one. So sometimes, me personally, I just believe if you're doing something, unless your body allergic to it, I'm always doing it a little bit stronger because sometimes it does work when it's strong. Just like, a, just like when you go to your doctor and the doctor have to upgrade your medication because they say, no, this is too weak for you. I have to give you something more stronger. So, yeah. But that's me. You don't have to do that. Well, how I do it, you can use six or four or three cloves. It's up to you. But I'm always using a lot of cloves because cloves is like a cleanser for the body. All right. And that's why that's how I learn a lot of stuff. Because when you go to the doctor and the doctor give you one medication and it's not working for you, you say you go back to your doctor, and your doctor say, you know what? I'm sorry, you know. This is not working for me. You probably have to upgrade the medication and the doctor said okay i'm gonna give you a stronger dose all right <laughs> anyway it's just the ideas guys you don't have to follow chef ricotta idea you can um you know i mean make your own decision cloves is very good you know you can use two three four cloves it's up to you because everyone our body is 
different. Like me now, I always try my best to use things like strong. That means when I take it, it must have to work. <laughs> um, but anyway, I must say thank every one of you guys this morning for your support and for your time. But the pineapple peel right here, this one, if you want, a lot of people may not be able to drink it like this because of the taste and the flavor of the pineapple and all of those ingredients mixed together so maybe you might have said to yourself can i put a little bit of honey or but remember pineapple are so sweet so you have to be careful all right but if you like you know this natural organic honey is good so i'm using some organic honey you can put a quarter teaspoon of honey inside of it give it a mix and drink this two times a day if you can all right if not make yourself a big bosh and keep it in your fridge and drink it and use it like a detoxing for the body. All right, guys. Is this beautiful tips and ideas for you? Please let me know. All right. Secondly, this is going to be the last one for you this morning. All right. I'm going to give you one more recipe. And then that's it from Chef Ricardo this morning for you guys. And my respect will always go for you. All right. Yeah, sometimes you're going to shop, guys, just to keep you guys update. There is are a lot of organic stuff, you know. Even just like this, you can tell because you, you will see organic right on a lot of things, but you don't see the nut, you know what I mean? Yeah, so what we're going to do is give you another little tips and ideas of things that you can also do at home. This is one of my next home remedy which i like to use at home a lot all right guys and i would encourage you guys to do this one if you can all right so place yourself some cucumber into the cup like this all right this is my other recipe which i like to use a lot all right and then And a few slices of lemon into the liquid like this. This is another, another, another detoxing water, which I share my audience with a lot of time, which is so good for you guys to um to do at home. All right. Now it, this one is just my favorite, guys. Allah is making this one 100 percent I'm always um, trying my best to do this one because it's one of my favorite. And then what you want to do, just put some mint into the water like this, into the cup and pour some water. All right, pour some water in it and just leave for it to simmer for a couple of hours. And after a couple of hours, you drink it very powerful drink this for you guys to try at home all right so i give you one two three different kind of ingredients this morning you guys have a choice to use one of these any time of the day this one right over there it can stay right there sickle for at least three to four hours and leave it for it to cool down and then you can drink it or you can just goggle it in your mouth like a like mouth wash and then you pour it out out of your mouth all right you can also Eat one clove seed every single day. It will help to cleanse a lot of stuff in your body. Do your research on cloves. All right. It's a powerful, powerful spice. One of the world's most powerful spice. I recommend to anyone. It's on it cinnamon. Secondly, the pineapple tea. Drink this two times a day. Let's give it a try. Oh, yes. That is perfect. You can taste that green tea. Um, pineapple tea with pineapple green tea ginger and some cloves inside of this and some cinnamon beautiful one for you guys to try at home all right i must close the show now and i will catch you guys later on with another video thank you so much for watching chef ricardo show this morning any question please guys don't feel feel free to ask chef ricardo 
If you're on medication, please check with your doctor first before you make any one of these kind of ingredients right here because you do not want to, um, you know what I mean, mash up, um, this, uh, mash up your, um, your medication with all uh, these natural stuff at home. So make sure you're concerned with your doctor if you can take certain kind of stuff with your medication. It's important. All right? Love for the wall and happy Tuesday morning, guys. The week has started again and it's been a blessed day, man. Yesterday was meat free Monday. Um, I did what yesterday for meat free. We did a soup yesterday for meat free Monday. And if you did not watch the video, please watch the video. Craig, you're welcome. You know, thank you so much. Woodstock, what's going on? <laughs> Woodstock is Woodstock is an amazing one. Thank you so much, Woodstock. Fox Fox. All right, get some good rest, Fox Fox. Walk Hillary, thank you so much. Angel Reed. Ah, uh, for real. I like that one. Oh, I, think, yeah, I saw a lot of people who are, To be honest with you, I saw a lot of people who take medication, you know, and they tell me, and they still, even this, I got a good, um, late, some person who I know, 86 year old, and they still take all of these natural home remedy. And it's still, and it's still on, it's on, on medication. Nothing doesn't go wrong. All right. So these are natural home remedy. But to be honest with you, they help to reduce certain kind of information in your body. And that's the most important thing. You can fight against certain kind of a disease in your immune system. All right. Now, thank you so much. Have a great day. And look, I am diabetic. diabetic and I'm not and I, that natural. Um, let me see this one. Um, Angel Reed. Yeah, for real, man. For real, uh, Angel Reed. For real, 100%. Yeah, for real. That's good. Very nice, Richard. Thank you. Welcome. Good one. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all natural. It's all natural. But anyway, guys, thank you so much, guys. Have a beautiful day, and I will catch you guys later on with another video. All right? Bye-bye for now.